As a new player, the first thing you want to do is change your key bindings to something that is more comfortable for you. As you should be aware, this game uses FPS mechanics, so it is imperative that you minimize error by placing important skills on easily accessible keys that can be clicked while moving, Stand as standing still is usually a death sentence. It is important to know that this game uses, by default, a two-button activation system depending on where your skills is found. Left radial skills are activated by using the left mouse button, while right radial skills are activated by using the right mouse button. To change your input bindings, hit escape. This brings up your GUI mode window. On the right you'll see various icons. The game option menu icon is accessed by clicking on the one that looks like a monitor. This brings up additional options to the left of the screen. The option we are looking for is input bindings, which looks like Tetris blocks. Once accessed, the first thing you want to do is disable radio mode left and radio mode right. It is, feels as though this option was put in place to be used with a controller. It is not an option you ever want to use, as it will slow down reaction time as well as everything else. It is best to bind your skill, skills and quick items to keys directly that come naturally to you. For instance, I like to use my third mouse button for parry instead of using the B key. Scroll through the menu option and find the keys you want to rebind. For quick items, the options you are looking for are activate quick slot item 1 through 8, and for skills they are called left and right radio menu, radio skill 1 through 8. Typically speaking, players bind their defensive skills to the right radio menu, and their offensive skills to the left menu, but you don't have to do this. Some players also still use switching between active radio slots to save keys. For example, by default, your all your skills are queued by using 1 through 8 on the keyboard, and Q and E are used to activate radial wheel right and left respectively. As you can see in this video, I do not use this option and instead bind skills directly. I recommend you do the same. Once you have your key binding set up to your liking, the next step is to ensure you have your skills set up on your radial menu properly. Thank you.